Hola Aries, welcome to your love reading for December 2020. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can set that up. Also, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I will have something you do not know about them in addition to if they are seeing somebody else at this time. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, you please to your truth, your, your, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries. Love energy is for December 2020. What do you see? What do you need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine to hear your messages for their greater good? Any messages you have? you have for Aries for love December 2020 and be greatly appreciated and we thank you can you please show me the energies that Aries has passed out of prior to December you have the three of wands in reverse also check out my playlist in there are my 2021 sun moon predictions what is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign in December we have the eight of wands in reverse and then ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe and or donate and let's get to your reading we end on the six of swords in the upright for as you move out of december into january so let's see what we have going on here it seems like prior to december you were having difficulties in a relationship um I'm getting that it was either because this person was at a distance to you, um, two of you didn't have, um, uh, you, they were having communication difficulties, possibly not the same goals, not on the same page. Um, I, I think it's more communication problems and, and it, this could have been a long distance relationship or this person um, is at a distance from you. It doesn't have to be physically, it could be mentally, spiritually or what have you. And that's causing a chasm um in this relationship as we go into december i'm seeing you guys aren't talking at all <laughs> so not only is the communication breakdown happen or whatever's going on here it actually worsens um eight of wands is pretty much when there's a total communication breakdown um or there's one person talking to another person and the other person is not responding so um things have slowed down drastically uh, they might have even come to a dead stop um but it that's what the picture that's getting painted here. Um, and then as you move out of December to January, I see somebody moving on from somebody entirely. So somebody could actually be relocating. They could be moving. Um, if they are doing that and they're physically moving, some it can be over water or an expanse of water of some sort. Um, they could be traveling away from the other person. But it is a card of kind of going your separate ways because you realize it's not working that's not to say that both parties or one party isn't having any regrets it's just kind of like uh, you know um it is what it is sort of you know it's time to move on we both need to move on to a better place because this is not the best place for us so um not the best reading i'm getting so far for whoever this is intended for well, why is the three of wands here in reverse who's this person what's this energy for aries Love energies prior to December. Why are you showing us the Three of Wands in reverse? Love energies for Aries. Yeah, I mean, somebody was really kind of working to kind of get the mojo back or try to get the relationship back. It was a struggle. It was it was really kind of trying to just keep it afloat. And somebody was trying really hard to kind of go back to how things were. You know, when you guys were happy, when you guys enjoyed each other. You know, hey, can we start over again? Can we go to that point in time? Um, for others of you, someone might have been trying really hard to get that ring or um, trying really hard to um, you know, uh, have this move on to, um, uh, something that was commitment based, like, Hey, let's move in together. Hey, let's get engaged. Um, and they were working really hard, but actually it imploded. So everything kind of fell apart, um, very drastically to like all of a sudden it was just boom. Um, it might've been because, um, somebody was putting a lot of pressure on the other person. Um, the two of pentacles can be sometimes when somebody is applying a lot of pressure and they're being unreasonable and the other person just decides they can't take it anymore. And then it just kind of ends up blowing up. Um, but I, I'm getting the sense that one person was trying to get back to where you guys could be happy or um, being like, hey, I'll be happy if I can get this, either you or the other person. Um, so this is a conflicted relationship. Why is eight of wands in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy for Aries in December? Love energies. Who's this person? What's this energy? Why is this eight of wands here in reversed? 
yeah it seems like in december things really turn around probably not for the best um it seems like there's one person who i keep on getting there's one person who wants things to get better and the other person just wants it to be done and over with um there's there's a conflict between the two of you um and you know you really can't kind of change somebody's opinion once they've made it i'm sort of getting um you know they've decided no you know this is not for me um and you have a really hard time trying to re or the other person has a time hard time resisting or getting them to change your mind um because i feel like they've already decided despite the offer being made again of hey can we start over we really had something um and it could be also hey i want to get married i want you i want you know i want to get engaged like something like that kind of coming in um can we do that is that a possibility and the other person just kind of being like not very responsive to that i feel like whatever's being offered or whatever's being said the other person um isn't really kind of um into that and i think a decision is kind of made to um the only way to kind of come out of this um is to kind of do what needs to get done i know that one party was resisting change i think the problem is that this is going to happen no matter what um and that person was also thinking you know if we do this or you know this kind of happens it's going to be really terrible um and a lot of that can be perception not reality i mean it, it's hard when you're in it to realize you're better to be out of it than actually in it but you don't want to hear that when you're in it you know um but I feel the only way to kind of um, recover is to get out of this situation for you guys. I, I'm not seeing that this is this is workable or a viable relationship. And I feel that Sunday going into uh, January, somebody does decide to make the move out of the relationship and leave the other person. Why is the Six of Swords here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Six of Swords for Aries. Yeah, too many arguments, too many things not in common. Um, this is this is a love that has kind of like um, it, it. It just. It, it just has kind of turned around from what it was. There's a total lack of understanding between the two of you. Um, and there's this need to separate and to break up. Um, I see somebody speaking out of turn here with the Page of Swords. Um, somebody is saying a lot of things without really kind of thinking about it. It's really truthful, but that's what they're kind of doing. And I also see that the other person, even though the other person goes, um, the other person's still watching them, um, you know, keeping an eye on them to kind of see what they're doing and, and keeping tabs on them. And then I see the Queen of Cups here, which is somebody who really, really wanted this to work. I don't know if it was you or the other person, but they were absolutely willing to put in... Um, they continue to do so after December. They continue to have those feelings of, you know, this is all I cared about. I mean, look at how, um, I don't know if you can see, how she's looking at that chalice. That's all she sees. That's all she cares about. And I feel like that's what um, one of you is like. That's all they ever wanted um, was this. So um, I think it's, it's a problematic reading for sure. It's a sad reading. I don't mean for them to all be like this, but, and they usually aren't. Um, but that's what I'm kind of getting. So if this is a situation you need help with, consider a personal reading, just send me an email. Um, otherwise, click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread will be something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing somebody else. Um, check out my playlist, 2021 sun moon predictions are in there. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, best of luck to you and love. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.